All right, so I want to add a little bit to what Jimmy Chang was saying yesterday about linear and nonlinear functions. So just to clarify, uh, could someone tell me to be linear, um, a graph is what kind of line again? It's straight. So uh, keeping that in mind, I wanted to look more at why some of these equations do not produce uh, straight lines. So uh, what makes equations nonlinear? Like Jimmy Chang said yesterday, it means it's not degree one. Uh, so basically that means it's raised to some type of exponent. And what that means is it's gonna look like one of these things. So you'll have like x raised to a, uh, an exponent of two or three square root of x. And you cannot have the x in the denominator, but technically, uh, so that would be nonlinear, but you could have the x up here that would be linear there. So I wanted to just show you some examples of that using Desmos. I think this does a good job uh, explaining that to you. So if I go here, uh, sorry, so you can see if I put everything on here, all these different equations, uh, we got some crazy stuff going on here as far as all the different um, functions. And a lot of them you can see are curvy and only a couple of them are straight lines. So uh, let's start with our most basic linear function. Uh, mx plus b is this one right here. So 2x uh, plus 5 is, as you can see, a straight line here in red. Now, notice x here is not raised to a power. Uh, it is literally just uh, x. But sometimes, and it might even look a little stranger if I look at number 7 down here, this equation, and it doesn't look like mx plus b, uh, but notice none of the x's are to an exponent. So then if I go to graph it and I just highlight it, it gives me another straight line here in blue. So it's technically linear. So now let's see what happens when I start graphing things that do not have um, a degree of one. So uh, first thing, let's do an exponent with the power of two. So when I do a power of two and I graph it uh, here, you can see that, hold on, I gotta zoom out. Uh, there's a curved line there, uh, 2x squared plus 5 curved, nonlinear. What happens when I put the x in the denominator? Uh, here, you can see another curved line appears. It's actually a split. There's a, a curve here and a curve here. Now, just to prove it to you, if I graph this one here with the x at the top, you can see that here, now it's a straight line. So again, Straight line, x in the numerator. Curvy line when x is in the denominator. Going on to some other examples, let's see what happens when you get a square root of x. It's not going to be straight. It's going to be uh, like a little curve like that. Uh, I just wanted to show you what it would look like x to the third power, what kind of curve that would give you. Uh, it gives you like a little squiggly like that. So uh, that's interesting too. So again, the ones that are linear are this one. Turn that one off. That's linear. X in the numerator, that's linear. And uh, even though this looks weird, it also gives you straight lines. So everything that's nonlinear will give you curvy lines. So if I uh, do all the nonlinears again, curvy, curvy, uh, curvy, and curvy. So again, I thought this would be a good uh, addition to Jimmy Chang's video to help you understand the difference between linear and nonlinear uh, equations.